people need to understand that that's the case in Washington. Most of your political uh, class is bought and paid for by the Israeli lobby. They're not going to jeopardize their positions, their income, their access uh, under any circumstances. The, the other point I would make here, though, that, that Americans don't seem to understand, I don't think a lot of people do, he, he called it a war zone. Well, it is, but it isn't. It is and it isn't. First of all, Hamas does not have an integrated air defense system. Hamas is uh, organized, and they're obviously tenacious fighters, but they're not an army. Uh, they have rockets, and they use them, and they fire them when they can, but uh, it's a, a minimum of uh, fire support. And finally, they don't have any naval forces. So you're, you're dealing with essentially guerrillas that, yes, they do swim uh, inside the population, but normally we don't annihilate the entire population on the grounds that it contains a few guerrillas. That's collective punishment. We don't engage in that kind of thing. The, the bottom line is that this fog of war argument, it wasn't clear. We didn't know. I don't think that's, I don't think that's legitimate in this sense at all. Certainly not in this case. Remember, the Israeli troops opened fire on uh, some of their own people who had actually escaped custody and were trying to reach them. And they killed their own people. It was only when they finally got close enough to see who they were, they realized they'd killed Israelis. 